Kevin, cast your both strikers, of course. Um, what would you say, Kevin, is uh, are his best qualities? His best qualities is is knowing exactly when to burst and when not to. He doesn't get too involved in the link-up play. And he, he preserves his energy. Like I said, he, he bursts in the box. He doesn't just, just drift. And uh, he's one-track mind. I think that one-track mind, mm. I'm going to score goals. Mm. Don't get involved. I don't mind having minimal touches, but they're going to be very, very prominent and important. And uh, he's made a career of it right now. You deny him space, he still can score. Yeah. And that goal the other night. Well, I was going to say, oh. when they tried their best to close him down to sort of narrow that well, opportunity it's, for him. It's impossible to defend. You know, he's got his foot above the head of the defender, the Dortmund defender. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you stop that? You can't. And one thing I would say as well on, on Haaland is that you look at goal scorers and look, I've been lucky enough to play alongside a few real natural goal scorers and I've witnessed others like Alan Shearer who was determination to get goals. Whitey was very similar in had a determination to get goals. And then I probably put Clive Allen in there as an unbelievable finisher. John Aldridge, incredible finishing at all different levels of football. And it's, and it's a real skill. And the biggest thing is as well... <laughs> If you're thinking just Premier League club football, he's got no World Cup. No, he's not. Norway are not there. So if anyone's going to get any rest and get himself <laughs> tuned up for the second part of the season, it's going to be Earl and Ireland. So expect the worst. That's what I'd say. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, that goal that against Borussia Dortmund, there's so much to love about it, not just his part, but also the Jao Cancelo part of it as well oh, with his ball, assist, yeah. which is incredible in itself. Uh, could you liken anything that you ever have done that's similar to that, Kevin? Yeah, as a kid jumping up on the bed, I think, you know, when you're <laughs> throwing balls to... to hey, Kevin, to... let me ask you a question on that that goal. What would we all be saying? Edit. 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 Yes. We'd all be going, head yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I would, would even consider trying but to But this leap. is it. I mean, what? how is he thinking I'm going to... Gonna, you, well, he knows he can. He knows and he can and the outside of his foot. <laughs> yes, you know, exactly. It, again, it's he's so such a maverick at the top end of the pitch. Two seasons now, uh, previously, Manchester City didn't have a striker really at the top end of the pitch. Mm. They've won the Premier League. Now they probably realise we need one to make the difference. We need a Champions League. They've got one who is absolutely incredible. Yeah. We, always, we always had the argument of what's going to happen after Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Mm. And I think Mbappe and Haaland are the, is, is going to be the answer. It's oh. them two. Well, you look at his record for Manchester City since he's moved here. The two games that he hasn't scored in, that community shield, and then that 4-0 victory over Bournemouth for Manchester City earlier this season. We mentioned there about his strike rate, and if he continues the way he's going, he's going to be 100-plus goals. No one's expecting that. No. What are you, though, expecting from him? 13 101. <laughs> 99 well, no, just misses out. The reason why, the reason why I think he's going to keep scoring, look, I'm, I'm, I'm being crazy when I say 101, but Manchester City still don't know how to use him properly yet. Yeah. They're just learning his game a little bit. Mm. Well, if you go on numbers alone and you say, we have this, oh, he only touched the ball 20 times. Well, what's going to happen if he touches the ball 40 times? <laughs> you know, which is what Kevin's alluding to. Sure. I, I see the Premier League record going for a season. I really do. Um, I knew he was good because <laughs> I've seen a lot of him, like many of us. Did I know he was this good? No, he surpassed. And he's walked in. It's the answer to what a lot of people say. Why are you a transfer? Why do you go to other clubs? Well, if you get upgraded and play with better players, the ball that Cancelo puts in is extraordinary. Yeah. And we, we haven't even really mentioned it. You you did, Nat, but we haven't met. That ball was incredible. We yeah. see De Bruyne do that. Bernardo Silva can do that. I can't Foden say. can do yeah, it. Foden. You know, Gundogan yeah. could do it. You know, it's, More goals. But it's, it's incredible. Only injury will stop him. Only injury. Um, 13 goals he scored already. 10 in the Premier League. <laughs> Is it conceivable that like the golden boot... I mean, it could be done and dusted by... Christmas. By Christmas? Christmas. Christmas. Even with the World Cup break? Could, could be over. Honestly. And... and don't forget, Manchester City are not exactly going to stop creating chances for him. Yeah. They're going to create a lot of chances. If he gets chances, he's going to score. Uh, so how any team, I mean, look, we've, we've already said it, there's, there's barely any team that's been able to stop him. Is there any weaknesses? Is there any way of stopping him? Oh, I know his weakness. Go on. He can't hit a ball very well. <laughs> 
But it doesn't really matter. Hence why he can get his foot yeah, up six exactly. foot four with his foot. No, he he hasn't got a weakness in his game, and, and I'm jo- I'm I'm sort of being a bit you know, bit, well, bit silly and saying that he's heading, but he's heading. He's actually his weakest part of his game because mm-hmm. he's never going to get power on one and go you know jump over the back of a defender's shoulders and head it in. He's well, not doing that. Well, the weakness for me is you've got to stop the supply. Mm-hmm. If you stop the supply, then you've got he's a not, chance. You've got a chance. If he, he gets supply, no, he, he, you've got no chance. Which is what Borussia Dortmund tried the hardest to do in that game uh, at the Etihad. It, they it, didn't work, even no, though it, they it did took, a brilliant job. I mean, it took until the 80th minute for City to get into it. And then, as we know, they then went on to win the game with that extraordinary goal from, from Haaland. But, um, yeah, it, it's going to be fascinating to see how his career pans out here or this season even pans out. 